The telltale signs of a grand fallout in Jubilee Party were all too clear from the onset. The initial shadow boxing in the ruling party mutating to an all-out combat. Supporters of the deputy president no longer concealing the target of their political jabs. The problems that are bedeviling the deputy president has nothing to do with Raila Odinga. It has everything to do with Uhuru Kenyatta planning by himself. We don't know who will be president, but we are working very hard to know who will not become president. That the Uhuru political marriage has hit the rocks is now an open secret. The divorce proceedings, too loud and obvious. The deputy president's allies now say the March 2018 handshake hastened what they term President Kenyatta's kicking the ladder mentality. That if I met the president today, I'll look at him eye to eye and ask him, what is that one simple mistake that washes away all the good things William Ruto did for him from 2002 to winning the first election to a second election to a rerun? People go to church and they swear before man and before God to get married till death do you part. But people still divorce. These uh, arrangements, politics is dynamic. And if you started by behaving well and then you change your character along the way, Everybody has a right to change their mind about their position. That the deputy president is an isolated man in the government he helped craft in 2013 and 2017 is evident. The establishment of a cabinet committee on implementation and coordination of development established through executive order number one of 2019, further diluting the deputy president's influence in government and seemingly elevating interior affairs cabinet secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi's teacher. Matiangi today touring Kajiado County in the company of his health counterpart Mutahi Kagwe, where subtle jabs were directed at the deputy president. Sias Matiangi, anatuongoza vizuri na diyo kazi unayona ikiendelea sana. Environment Cabinet Secretary Keriako Tobiko was more explicit, bashing the Deputy President for hosting delegations at his current official residence. Last week, he played host to a delegation from Kajado East constituency, led by nominated Senator Mary Seneta, who is also eyeing the parliamentary seat currently occupied by the CSN sister, Paris Tobiko. All these premature campaigns, receiving of delegation, that effort should be the energy and the resources that are being expended for this purpose should be meaningfully utilized. Claims of persecution and isolation by his boss in government notwithstanding, Ruto maintains his state house bid was on course. Juzi wale niambia ati, wako na kitu inaitua system, na wako na ingine inaitua deep state. Mimi nikaambia sawa, na mimi niko na wananchi, na mungu. Kutukani. The deputy president has however strategically avoided a direct showdown with the president, instead letting his brigade fire the shots as the 2022 race beckons. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.